Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about making changes to data in tables, doing updates and deletions. In a previous video, uh, a link of which I'll put in the in the uh, description of this one, I talked about tables, how we create tables, the, the considerations to make when uh, dealing with uh, columns in tables, inserting data into tables, and getting rid of tables. So we've already gone through putting data into tables. Now let's think about making changes to that data. So on screen you can see I've got a, a table with 17 rows. Um, it's a pretty straightforward um, table, nothing overly complicated. I want to make a change to uh, employee H and I want to change the name of the entry. So um, ID 8, I want to change it from employee H to be employee R. So to do that, like anything in SQL, you've got a particular syntax to follow, and that syntax is update. You can see the update goes pink. Update table name, set column name equals, and I'll just copy that up here to save me typing. I'll make that R. And the important bit of all of this is the condition. So uh, where ID equals eight. That's it. Update. Employees table, set the full name column to be employee R, where ID equals 8. And I'll run that one row affected. And if I have a little look at that, you can see ID 8 is now employee R. Um, it's it's really important to get the to make sure you've got the, the where clause in there because if I just did that and didn't highlight the where clause, if I just ran those two lines, it would update every entry. Uh, the full name of every entry to be employee R. So you've got to be really, really careful when you're doing updates. Make sure you've got your um, where clause correct. And the best way to kind of do that is to is to do your select first of all. Um, so if I run that, yep, that's the one I want um, to update. So I will take that condition and put it into my update statement and that should do uh, make you know change the the, um, the entries I want to change let me give you an example of a delete so let us delete employee e so the sequel for that is delete we don't need to put um, anything here column table or anything like that we just need to put delete and then we say from our table name and then we again the important bit we give it a condition so delete from employees where id equals five now if i just did delete from employees it would delete everything in my employees table so make sure you've got your conditions right i'll run that come back up here and you can see id number five has disappeared it's it's easy to make uh, mistakes when you're doing updates and deletes. So it's really important to make sure that you've tested your logic before you run it. However, in SQL, like uh, like with most things, there is a way of, um, of, of testing your update before you actually apply it or testing your delete before you apply it. So if you've made a mistake, you can undo what you've done. If I just run this and I made a mistake, it's only a small table, I could possibly recreate it. But if I did this, or go to backups or something, if I run this and I um, have made a mistake and I update everything, this is a massive table, it's going to cause me a massive problem. So in order to um, kind of safeguard against that, you can run your statements within a transaction. Um, so let me go and do an example of that for you. So syntactically, we say begin tran or begin transaction. Then we have our statement. Then we do um, either an update or a commit. Sorry, either a, um, a rollback or a commit, depending on um, our, our statement here. So let me show you what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to comment out these two keywords. In fact, if I just uncomment them, you'll see that they are blue. They aren't just standard text. These are uh, recognized SQL commands so if I just go back here if I were to run this 
without my where clause, but within a transaction. When I execute this, it says 16 rows affected. I only wanted to affect only one row. If I come into here and I do a select here, it'll show me that all of my employees are now called employee R, and that's a mistake. But because I did it within a transaction, I can run this rollback and it will undo that um, SQL. It'll undo what I've just done. Um, so if you do a transaction and you run it correctly, so I execute this, that's exactly what I wanted to do. One row, good. I can even check that. Um, employee R, ID8. If I'm happy with that, I run commit and it is applied the change and the change is now in um, the transactions finished you're done so if i now run this um it's it's updated my entry and that's good so a couple of things to think about a couple of things to note with this within a transaction when you run a transaction when you begin a transaction and you perform some sort of statement against a table that table will be locked until your transaction is completed so let me show you an example of that um let's change employee c to my employee s Oops. So, if I run this, it says one row affected. Right now, I haven't rolled back or committed anything. I've just began my transaction. And until I execute one of these two commands, that transaction will be um, open and this table will be locked. Now, because I'm in this window, I can run a select against that table and I can see my change and I'm happy with that. But if I go to a different window and I run the same select, it doesn't resolve, it doesn't finish because right now that table is not accessible because there's a transaction open against it. So it's really important that <clears throat> when you've finished, when you've run your transaction and are happy with your, um, or not happy either way, you've got to run one of these two commands, otherwise you're going to cause problems. Um, this transaction is only active in this window. So when I try and close this window, it says to me, hold on a minute, you've got transactions that are open here or not committed. Do you want to commit them? Now, if I say no, it's going to roll them back. If I say yes, it's going to commit them. So I'm going to say yes. I don't want to save that window, thank you. Now I should be able to run this and it will show me that there's my change that I put in. Um, Important um, SQL the, tran the, the, the transaction um, important to use uh, before you make any changes, updates, and deletes. Um, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, and if you did, if you if you want to like it or put a comment, that'd be appreciated. Want to subscribe? That's great. Um, until next time, thanks.